information were more uh, forthcoming with biases and colors and uh, conventions, uh, uh, ex including all kinds of uh, blobs and things. I, I quite like the uh, mint looks, for example. Yeah, I was going to say about mint, but uh, uh, I was going to put you say, yeah, a bunch of sort of was more sort of like orangey brown or something, and it? it went more dark brown, and that was yeah. And now it's sort, now it's, it's gone. Like now, now the inter now it's all different because of the new branding. It's like it's very dark, and then you got this ab ab I believe it's called purple look. The con new conical color, yeah. and it's all a bit. I never I've never liked the new branding. So yeah, but um, way, way back in the days it was supposed to be very uh, back to nature, Unity Africa, and also there was the yeah. uh, the marketing yeah. idea of Mark that's supposed to make it look sexy. So his words were like. You know, he, he showed the story actually gets very funny. And uh, uh, Jeff Wall was was talking about uh, he was one of the first employees there, and he said that 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 Mark Shuttleworth put like this girl with the breasts out and stuff on the screen or something. And said this is what I want the distro to look like. It's it's, tr it's really quite an embarrassing story for him. I think it's, it's true, and it's probably true based on the person who said that. Uh, and and basically his idea was we have to show like these people it's, as you probably know later they would have the People without the shirts, you know, the guy without a shirt and the girls with like this uh, fairly, um, should you say, uh, promiscuous type of uh, looking clothing. And then there was all kinds of marketing around the thing of like kind of sexy people, you know, Ubuntu, Linux is sexy. And, uh, and that was the idea that he had. And I think maybe this is why they found appealing like brown and uh, like skin. I think the brown it is. It is, it's, the, it's the human look. It you know the old, yeah. the old slogan Ubuntu Linux for human beings. Yes, you know, which I think they departed from so far. Yeah. They don't trace too much of the human uh, uh, euphemism kind of thrown around too much. But but uh, probably we shouldn't be talking too much about Ubuntu in general. No, no, I just, we'll, we'll I get... mention, I'm, I'm using Ubuntu right now. And, no, we'll talk, not... we're going to talk about different things. That was the yeah. idea. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, the old slogan Ubuntu Linux for human beings, and then. Bunch to mention Manti or something like that, but but what I was gonna yeah what I was gonna say is yeah the looks were never really that good and I think for a lot of people but um and that's I'm one of the people who who want a, a distribution to look really good by default yeah. which is actually well I'll get um yeah so yeah Linux men they they take a bun to like this like it's a lot of 99% of bun to and then they add their like one percent mint, which is the their their like really nice pictures and their some of their own programs, and that's mint. And a lot of people like mint. And they're gonna uh they're not going with Unity or Gnome Shell. It seems either they're gonna. Yeah, I think well, gonna no one really knows what they're gonna do for Mint 12 at the moment. I, well, I think so they should the start to explore. Yes, yeah, I think they start to explore more and more Debian because they know Debian is going to stick with more. Because Debian is not based on Unity or anything, but Debian is just Debian. It's just yeah, the, yeah. Uh, it's just Debian plus can do slash Linux. Uh, and then you can put anything you want. And I have a Debian machine in front of me as well. And that's the trying KD4. Yeah, De Debian is, well, it's not a lot. You were talking about why those people like go for Debian earlier, weren't you? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I installed it. I didn't come with KD. What, the way I installed it, I put it on an SD card, basically the size of like a 10p coin. In the UK, I think I think uh, Debian. I don't, I don't really. I haven't really used Debian. I mean, I've, I've tried that out. Uh, Debian based distribution and virtual machine before and that kind of thing, but I never really used Debian. But I think it's popular. I think it's quite popular because it 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 goes back a long time. It goes back to 1990. Yeah. Well, if you standardize, it's got loads of packages and it's very stable. And the development process makes it very and yeah, exactly. They've got a lot of stuff in there with support, but repos with Polly toys, whatever it's called, you know. Yeah. And uh, that's why probably why Ubuntu. Is based off it. Plus, Mark Shuttleworth used to be a Debian developer, so yeah. I believe uh, Mandriva. Let, let's go back to Mandriva though. Uh, I believe they have basically the. You say it's RPM four, RPM five. No, RPM four, four, four. Yeah, something like that. RPM it's five right. is this latest one. That, packages oh, compatible. No, Mandriva's changed to RPM five in the end of Mandriva 2011. Yeah. All right. Are they packages compatible? If you were to try and get a Mandriva package to work in Magia, would it be compatible? <laughs> no. Oh. Uh, um, actually, what they've done with Ma what they did with Magia is origin originally they were going to just um, take 2010 point the 2010 series yeah. and and make 
Magi Magia one based off that, but that me- that would mean like a really old KD, like KD four point six. So, uh, no, not four point six. Uh, it's four point four point four something like that. Yeah. And it would mean an old. It would mean a lot of old packages, really. Yeah. And so what they decided to do is they they decided to base it off Cooker. They will do like um, loading release the developers use, and then Magia has got Ma- Cauldron, Magia Cauldron. Which is like rolling release, and uh, then I think I think I'm not I think they just base all the other versions off the rolling release basically. Be that development versions of what would become the next Mandriva or Magia or or or. Um, Are they keeping upstream in any way with the uh, Mandriva project? And also, when the new versions come out, do they in any way use code that has been advanced by? I mean, one thing I should mention is they basically work in packages like KD and you know things and kernel stuff. So in some ways they have to kind of share things anyway. Uh, but they have the distro specific, uh, you know, modification. Uh, they want they want to... Ma- Magia. If you think Ma- Mandriva is not Magia's upstream, right? Yeah. They 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 have to build. They'll have to build upstream as as their upstream. It'd be like a bunch who's got Debian as their upstream, but really, yeah. whereas Debian has a real upstream as their upstream, for example, right? Yeah. But but regarding the packages, and if you can take a uh, Mandriva RPM and use for say Mandriva 2011, that's been specially yeah. made for Mandriva 2011, so RPM 5, and yeah. then run it in Magia with RPM 4, whatever. As far as I know, that that will not work because they're completely different versions of RPM. So, but if you take a Mandriva 2010 uh, series package, something that's been made for that, and then try and run it in Magia, it will, it will probably work. But they have their own, um, well, obviously, their own, there's, Magia has its own packages or whatever. So I'm not, I'm not, I don't mean that much about packaging, but I have been attend, I have been, um, uh, I mean, I've been idling in the, I've been in the Magia channels a lot since the, uh, September 18th, 2010, yeah. when the distribution is the, came out. Uh, is, the, be, is the activity increasing in the uh, forums? Or in the, uh, 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 the RFC, um, the sport channels, it, it's some, yes, yeah, getting a few more new people. Not maybe, so depends many. On, uh, maybe depends on certain uh, uh, milestones. Yeah, like Developers, channels, is sort of, it's sort of the same activity as always. Well, I thought there would be more activity by now, but obviously not because it's... Uh, a new distribution and it's not quite yeah. established yet. Yeah. And the the first version, I think it was more of a uh, sort of like a test to see how yeah. all the like teams would work and how it would how things would like work and to make a distribution. Yeah. But Magia two is is expected to be released on Wednesday the fourth of April twenty twelve, so next year. And that's that's um I think that one's going to start gaining quite a lot of users to the distribution. And then there's a, I read that we, and then the like first alpha version is supposed to be coming out on the, um, the, I think it's a Wednesday as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yes, have a look. Um, yeah, yeah, Wednesday the 16th of November 2011. That's when the first alpha Magia 2 is supposed to be coming out, and I'm looking forward to that because I'm, I intend to, Install it onto my computer. And hopefully, uh, encourage other people to do so as well. Well, but one so issue is I think they have loads of momentum, uh, in, uh, Canonical because people tend to, uh, synonymize the, uh, uh, Linux desktop with Ubuntu and they're unwilling to explore other things because they have this really, really strong perception that if this is the Linux for human beings, then every other distro is not for human beings and isn't really yes. conceivably easy to use. Yes, yeah, it's, um, <laughs> So anyway, like I say, Wednesday is November 16th, is supposed to be the alpha. Uh, I'm going to install it, and that's the plan all around then. And then somebody suggested who I've been, has some, uh, IRC contacts with in the Magia channels, and she basically suggested, why don't you do some quality assurance, some QA for it, because I was telling her about my current setup as well, which is actually, this is my current computer setup, Windows XP Home Edition. Uh, physically installed and hardest, right? Windows XP Home Edition. I've got Mandriva 2010.2, and I've, and 
I put that on quite recently. I used to have Mandriva on here, the 2010 series, yeah. Yeah. but I got rid of it to like try it PC Linux OS and go between versions of development version of Ubuntu and all that, and Mint and all that, and Fedora and there's a lot of like I've done quite a lot of distro mm -hmm. testing mm -hmm. of development in the last sort of two years and and well not so much on physical hardware because I don't really have a proper test computer, but yeah. I have done a bit on here and mainly with Ubuntu.